Yeah, hi. I, I'm almost there. I'm just, I'm stuck in the most ridiculous traffic. Pick a direction. All right, I'll, I'll be there real soon. Don't worry, we won't be late, I promise. I'll be there real soon. I'll pick you guys up on the way. Oh, Sarah. Aaron, guys, I'm sorry, traffic was insane. Understood. Come on in. So, I heard you guys are working on the biomolecule sequencer. Now, I mean, what the heck is that? It sounds like something off of a superhero's utility belt or something. Yeah, well, basically, um, there's a, a little portable sequencer, you know, that we happen to bring with us. We're basically just trying to make it so you could sequence DNA anywhere, whether that's uh, in a rover going to the meeting or uh, on the planet Mars or on the International Space Station. Sequencing DNA. Real quick, high school science question. What does DNA stand for? Uh, DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, and it's basically the molecule where cells contain all the instructions for life. So every, everything that a, that a cell needs to do, every function is contained in its DNA. Can you spell that? D-E-O-X-Y-R-I-B-O-N-U-C-L-E-I-C -E -E uh, space acid, A-C-I-D. Color me impressed. All right, so Sarah, sequencing DNA, what, is, what does that mean? Like, what are, you, what are you guys doing with that? So every organism has, as Aaron said, this DNA, and it's the sequence of the A's, G's, T's, and C's, or the DNA bases that make us up and make up our cells and encode all of the things we need to live. So by sequencing it, we're determining that order of the nucleotide bases to figure out what organisms are in our sample and things like that that we can use to gain more information about biological life. So basically you, you take this DNA and by reading those different letters, I already forgot them, you can figure out you know what something is. Like you can take an unknown sample and figure out what it is. That's exactly. correct. Okay. Why? I mean, why, why do we need to do something like that? Well, if there's a contaminating fungus that's on the ISS, we want to know what it is so we can best recommend how to clean it up. And right now, we don't have a way to do that on the ISS. So it would be cool if we could take real samples from the ISS and so we could figure out all the different microbes that are in them. So we can use it to find out if stuff's growing in a space station, but you just said you can use it to like find life. We can use this to find life outside of Earth, possibly? Yeah. So we have Mars meteorites on Earth, which means that little pieces of Mars have been impacted and then flown through space and landed on the Earth. And so it's very possible that pieces of the early Earth uh, got released and made their way out to Mars. So the most likely candidate uh, to have life uh, is Mars, and it could have life that started on Earth, or life on Earth could have started on Mars. And so if there is a common uh, ancestry, then we could be able to detect it with a sequencer like this. You mean we haven't already found aliens? Uh, we have not, no. Just have to ask. Hey Aaron, you wanna sequence some DNA in a rover? So you can do it like right here, like that's it. Yeah, it's, it's this is it. that small. That's insane. Okay, so what, like what's actually happening? So I have a sample here that contains DNA from a mouse a virus and a bacteria. It's the same samples that are on the ISS that have been sequenced. And I'm injecting them into this miniature DNA sequencer. And we are actually gonna start collecting the sequences while we're roving around. This has never been done in a rover before, correct? I think it's safe to say never been done in a rover. There you go. Breaking new ground here. That thing is so small. Like, what, what magic is happening now? Um. So in this little window here, uh, there's a bunch of uh, what are called nanopores. Mm -hmm. So they're biological um, proteins that exist in uh, normal cells, and they allow ions to flow through. And it's just big enough to let a single strand of DNA actually pass through the pore. When there's nothing in the pore, you get a, a certain fixed current. Um, and then as DNA passes through it, the pore gets blocked and the current is reduced. And so it's that change in current that um, tells you what the sequence of DNA flowing through it is. So you guys, so let's say I'm on a space station or I'm on the surface of Mars, I scoop up a sample, I put it in there and that thing can actually tell me what it is? That's the idea. There's a few more steps in there. Um, so you have to extract cells from the dirt, um, then you have to get the DNA out of the cells mm -hmm. and then do a little bit of uh, library preparation. 
Um, but there's a number of teams and people that are working on uh, ways to have either robots do that or to make it really easy for humans to do it. So we got the sequencer in here with us. Has that one, has that one been used before? Have you, have you used it anywhere as cool as the rover yet? Almost as cool. This Almost. one was used in the Aquarius habitat, a part of the Nemo mission that's about 62 feet at the bottom of the ocean off the coast of Key Largo, Florida. Oh, wow. So we uh, had the Aquanauts last July collect samples from their habitat, prepare those samples for sequencing, and then sequence what they found. All right, so we've sequenced DNA underwater. We've now done it in a rover. But this thing's in space right now. Like, how has it been working in space? From what we could tell so far, it's working even better in space. Um, so we've really exceeded our wildest expectations. We actually had a pretty big milestone the other day where we passed our billionth base of DNA sequenced Bill in space. Wait, billion with a B? Yes, billion with a B. So the human genome is about three billion base pairs. Um, and so for us to get a billion uh, bases in space really gets us on that same scale, which is pretty amazing. All right, we're here. We made it to the meeting, guys. Thanks so much for driving along with me. It makes the drive a whole lot more fun and awesome project. Can't wait to see more. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, we got our DNA sequences, so we're going to go analyze. Awesome. All right, let's All right. go. Subscribe for more space.